Hi everyone, so today we're going to create your dream vision board online. And a vision board isn't just putting up pretty pictures for fun inspiration, they're actually a guide towards your ideal life. So you can always envision the kind of life you want to have 12 months from now. So to have your vision board up uh, in front of you and to see them every day allows you to create a little movie in your mind on how you want the end of your uh, 12 months to be and that's why having a vision board is important because you can continually have clarity towards what you want to aim towards and whenever things feel hard you can always look to your vision board to gain clarity and to gain motivation to keep going when it gets tough so before we create a vision board here are some important questions to ask yourself in order to clarify what your goals are, to understand what is important to us, to know what we would like to put in our vision board and what we would like to achieve in the 12 months ahead. So I'm going to look at my phone to uh, make sure I have the correct questions for you. So the first question is, imagine you are now very old and you are just reflecting back on your life. What would you regret not doing? So have a think about what are the things you would regret not doing in your lifetime. So just jot those down. And then ask yourself, what could you achieve in this year which was in that list? And if you can't achieve it this year, what can you work towards? So feel free to pause this video so you can write down your answers. The second question is, at the end of the next 12 months, what would have happened to have made this year amazing for you. So write down all the possibilities of what would make this year amazing for you. And don't have any limit on what you would write down. Write down anything you want to write down for this part. The third question is, what mindset changes do you want to make this year in order to move towards the ideal version of you? For example, having more positive mindset or having a kinder mindset just ways you can speak to yourself differently in order to support the ideal version of you. Number four, write down what you would like to achieve in these different areas of your life. So the different areas are health, relationships, career, finance, and self-development. So write down what you would like to achieve for each of these different aspects of your life. And I suggest writing one for each. So you can write as many as you like down for each. But in the end, what I usually like to do is to have one or maximum two I'd like to focus on each category to not overwhelm yourself because it's already five different categories. Then what I would do is after setting those yearly goals, I will break down how much I can achieve per three months and then every month and then break that down into every week what you can do. Say for example your self-development goal is to read 50 books this year so you can write down you can read one book per week. So breaking those down or your fitness goal is to be able to do this many push-ups so how many push-ups you want to achieve per week and then per day and then break it down uh, in, in such a way to make it easier for yourself to look at it every day and know whether or not you are moving towards those goals. And of course these are just guidelines because sometimes uh, some things are easier or harder to achieve. But it's nice to know approximately where you want to achieve every day or every week so you know that you are working towards your goals and it makes you feel really proud of yourself knowing that you are working towards it no matter how small it is. So once you have these goals clearly written down approximately one to two for each category. I recommend uh, one for each category for now, especially if this is new for you, so you don't overwhelm yourself. You can break your goals down into quarterly and monthly. I like to write them down on Google Spreadsheet, but whatever works for you, you can do it. I just use uh, each tab as a different month to break down what I would like to achieve monthly. And then every new month, you can go and clarify what your goals are and to break them down into per week and per day to make it easier for you to just look and know what your goals are for that week or for that month. Once you have that done, now it's the fun part to create the vision board. So I create my vision board on photo, uh, but you can also create it on Canva. I chose photo because it has the collage option on it, but you can create any collage you want. So I'll show you how I'm going to make mine. I'm going to do mine uh, to fit the lock screen on my phone. You can also create a landscape one so you can stick it up on your wall. I've actually done that for myself here but I want to create a one for my phone as well so on my lock screen whenever I look at my phone I can see my goals every day. 
Pinterest is a really great place to find inspirational imagery because they have so many topics you can go after and they're also aesthetically pleasing. So you can just click make a collage in photo and click classic collage. I already know the measurements of my phone and whatever measurements you want just put it there and select how many images you want in your photo. So it's really easy just import your images and you select your files there and you can rearrange them however you like to make it really pleasing to yourself. And what I've put here is to have a more adventurous year, to go snorkeling, to go hang gliding, and to have more beautiful decor and just go adventures with friends. And if the border's open, to go Machu Picchu because that's been on my list for so long. And I really wanted to go solo traveling to Machu Picchu. And I put a quote there to just remind myself the kind of mindset I want for this year. And it's grateful for where I'm at, excited about where I'm going, to make sure that I'm always grateful for where I am in my point in life and just enjoy each moment and all you have to do now is just save it and then upload it to your phone. A great way to use your vision board is to look at it for a few minutes each morning and to visualize yourself immersed inside the images as if you are living in the image right now so that you can have a clear picture on what it will be like when you achieve your dreams. This brings you closer to your goals and makes them feel more real it motivates you and also inspires you to take action. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below or any videos you want to see next time. I like to share adventure, mindset and fashion videos. So if you like topics like this, feel free to click the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!